Welcome back. Today is August 20th, and today we had small tides. And on these small tides, I know I've mentioned several times before, I absolutely suck at them. I always think the fish scatter, and I run all over the place, and I'm trying to find them. And I pretty much did the same thing here today. Um, started out pulling out by the bridge here at West Basin, and looked at the water temp, and went, Ooh, we're, we're getting close to these fish sliding back up towards the bridge and it's still got three hours of income coming. Maybe I should just go down the Oregon side. And I went, no, there's too many fish on the Washington side. So I went over the Washington side, got all the way over there, didn't like the water temperature, ran all the way down to the bottom of checkerboard and still didn't like what I saw, ran all the way over to 20. So my customer started out the day getting a complete full tour of the buoy 10 fishery. <laughs> We got to see everything. Uh, we dumped in over there. We had south wind again this morning and it was drizzling off and on throughout the day, but the south wind did calm down fortunately and it was a much, much nicer day weather-wise today. Uh, when we dropped in over there at buoy 20, we had a line rip. We missed another one. That was about it. Um, everybody was spread out. Everybody was looking. And so we were just all trying to figure out where they were because again, it's a small tide. Um, we ended up just kind of crossing from buoy 20 over towards the green can line and on our way over there we hooked one and then we ended up hooking another one and it was all up there in that shallower stuff I'm like well shoot i mean if we're getting bit here i know it's a random place but don't leave fish to find fish right so we stayed there and we ended up getting three keepers one it's definitely the biggest one for me this season. I'll see if I can get a picture and post it up to our Instagram page, but it was definitely the biggest one for me this season. And bonus, it was a hatchery. So after getting those three keepers, it kind of scattered. I didn't see the fish anymore. We're looking again. And I got six phone calls in a row saying, get your butt up here above the bridge. I didn't want to, but I ran all the way up there. And when I got up there, there was nothing going on. And I started getting some more info and it was an okay bite for a few boats, but really not that red hot for the entire fleet up there. Uh, there were fish all over the graph. They're everywhere, but they weren't chewing, even at the tide change. So they might be sliding up towards tongue, but who knows? This has definitely been an odd year. Uh, we haven't had, but more than two days up above the bridge on the Oregon side where it's fished and so maybe they're just transitioning down lower and then rocketing up river so they may not even stage up their tongue they might just be scooting on through and heading all the way up on up to longview and on up to the bonneville dam so um i don't know we'll see the next two days will be very telling we'll see if they're up there at tongue but i'm skeptical if they're going to be up there probably wrong but i am a little bit skeptical so after we went up there above the bridge and nothing was really going on we didn't have a bite. We saw like two nets, like this is dumb. So we bailed out of there and went back down river until I found the water temp that I liked. Dumped in, nothing on the screen, looking, looking, looking. Finally marked one fish, caught it. It's like, okay, that's the way it's supposed to work. Mark fish, catch fish. And then it was nothing really going on for a while again. We got back down to where we were catching fish in the morning. And guess what? Those fish never moved. <laughs> they were there. And we got into a rhythm where we were catching fish after fish after fish, getting two to five bites every pass. Uh, little tiny subtle changes made a difference uh, when we did start getting into that rhythm at the end of the outgoing tide, or I guess middle of the outgoing tide. Uh, we had to get our gear close to the bottom, and the reason why was because that's where the salt water was still kind of hanging, so those fish were belly in the dirt. And so um, my bow rods were not getting bit, and the second I dropped them down just five more feet, just five more feet and got the rod thumping a little bit harder because I knew it was down there in that salt water, the bow rod started getting bit. Um, I also noticed that when I'm trolling faster and the rod's working harder, the spin fish get bit better. I don't know if it's just the vibration or what it is. If the rods are barely working, the spin fish kind of works. They get bit every once in a while, but spinners tend to do better. Um, when the rods are thumping hard, like getting after it, that's when spin fish shine. And that's what happened while I was only fishing one spin fish and it got like three, four bites in a row. So I put out a second one, it started getting hammered and the spinner rods were quiet, put out a third spin fish and all three rods were getting bit regularly every single pass. So yeah, it was good. We got all of our kings, still no coho. I'm hoping that the coho show up. <sighs> Boy, uh, what else? Oh, this morning it was cloudy, uh, painted blades, definitely did well first thing in the morning. 
they started getting quiet later on in the day and once it got nice out you can see clouds are actually parting finally and when that happened bronco and mexican hat started getting to work a little bit better so I think tomorrow what I'll do is start it out with painted blades once again, but I think tomorrow's not supposed to be as cloudy, so I might be taking them off pretty quick after the first pass or two. So that is our buoy 10 update. We'll see you guys tomorrow, hopefully with another good report. There are plenty of fish here, but all in all today they were scattered. Guys caught them above the bridge. Frankly, they caught them from Tongue Point to buoy 10 all day long throughout every tide, which is kind of nice because all the boats were scattered, gave everybody plenty of room, didn't have to fight for a lane to, to fish on so it was it was a good day it was a fun day out there had to sort through some wilds for sure but shucks we had to land more fish and see more rods fold over dang it <laughs> another fun day all right we'll see you guys tomorrow later